Hello, boys and girls. Follow along with me as I read African American Inventors by Jim Haskins, illustrated by Eric Velasquez, an award winning illustrator. Introduction Inventors create new things. Their inventions solve problems or make life better in some way. Throughout our history, African Americans have invented many important things. John Lee Love received a patent for a pencil sharpener in 1887. Pause for a moment and think about what the word invented means. Garrett Morgan received a patent for an early type of traffic signal on November 20, 1923. John Purdy and James Sadguar patented a folding chair in 1889. Benjamin Banneker Benjamin Banneker was born on a farm in Maryland in 1731. At that time, Maryland was one of 13 British colonies in North America. Most African American people in the colonies were enslaved, but Benjamin's parents were free. Because Benjamin was born to a free family, he could go to school. Benjamin went to a, school, to a local school for boys. He was so good at math that he soon knew more than his teacher. After he finished his education, Benjamin worked on the family farm. Benjamin's life changed when he was 20 years old. He met a man who owned a pocket watch. The watch had been made in Europe. Benjamin was so interested in the watch that the man let him keep it. Benjamin studied the watch, its parts, and the way it was made. He decided to make his own clock out of wood. It was the first clock ever made in North America. Benjamin used his clock to measure the movements of the stars. He used math to figure out the positions of the stars, sun, moon, and planets. Years later, he wrote an almanac. An almanac is a book that lists the positions of the sun, moon, and planets for every day of the year. Benjamin wrote a new almanac every year for six years. People read it to find out when the sun and moon would rise and set. They read it to find out how the weather would change each season. Many farmers used Benjamin's almanacs so they would know when to plant their crops. He was as famous for his almanacs as he was for his clock. Sarah E. Good We know quite a bit about Benjamin Banneker. We know very little about Sarah E. Good. What we do know is that she was the first African-American woman to receive a patent for an invention. A patent is a legal paper. It is given out by the United States government in Washington, D.C. A person who invents something can get a patent to prove that he or she was the first to have it made. No one else can say they invented that same thing. Sarah was born in a southern state in 1850. She was born into slavery. When slavery ended, Sarah was a teenager. She was able to go to school once she was free. After she received her education, Sarah moved to Chicago, Illinois. Sarah must have been smart and hardworking. By the time she was 35 years old, she owned her own business. Sarah Good was the owner of a furniture store. Many African American people were moving from southern states to northern states in the 1870s and 1880s. They moved into apartment houses. Sometimes many people slept in one room. This was because many people did not have enough money to rent their own rooms. Sarah had the idea of making a bed that could fit in a small space. It could fold up during the day and unfold at night. She worked out a design, then she made a model. Pause for a moment and think about what the word design means.
Sarah called her invention a cabinet bed. When it was folded up, it could be used as a desk. There was even a place for keeping pens and paper. Sarah did not want anyone else to copy her invention. She made sure of that by getting a patent. We do not know how many cabinet beds Sarah made. We do know that her idea is still helpful for people. Folding beds are still in use today. Pause for a moment and try to compare and contrast. Compare Benjamin Banneker's and Sarah Good's inventions. How did they help people? How were they the same and how were they different? Okay, let's move on. Washington Carver. George Washington Carver was born in Missouri about 1861. Like Sarah E. Good, he was born into slavery. His family was enslaved by a couple named Carver. George was raised by Mr. and Mrs. Carver. George loved the Carver farm with all of its plants and animals. He planted his own garden. Soon he knew so much about plants that people called him the plant doctor. George wanted to go to school to learn more about plants. Slavery was over, so he was free to leave the Carver farm. It took him 20 years to get enough education and save enough money to enter college. George went to college in Iowa. He was the first African-American student at the school. He studied farming and learned even more about plants. When he graduated, he became a teacher. George taught at Tuskegee Institute in Alabama. It was a college for African-American people. He studied plants at the college. George told farmers that peanuts and sweet potatoes were good crops to grow. He found that he could make 118 different products from the sweet potato. These included soap, coffee, and glue. Pause for a moment and think about what the word products means. George learned that he could do even more with peanuts. He made over 300 different products from peanuts. Some of these were peanut butter, ice cream, paper, ink, shaving cream, and shampoo. George only received three patents for the products he invented. He believed that most of them should belong to everyone. Patricia Bath, M.D. Patricia Bath was born more than 75 years after George Washington Carver. Patricia was born in a northern state. She grew up in the New York City neighborhood of Harlem. Like George Washington Carver, she was still young when she began to study living things. Her special interest was human diseases. After high school, she got a job helping people who studied cancer. In college, Patricia studied chemistry. When she went to medical school, then, excuse me, then she went to medical school. She decided to study eye diseases. She wanted to find out how to remove cataracts. Cataracts are like clouds on the lens of the eye. They make everything look cloudy. Patric Patricia designed an instrument for removing cataracts. It gives off a powerful beam of light that breaks up the cataract. Then it can be removed. Okay, pause for a moment. Think about what the words instrument and powerful mean. In 1988, Patricia received a patent for the instrument she invented. She was the first African-American woman to get a patent for a medical invention. Since then, she has invented other eye instruments. Her work has allowed many people to see again. Pause for a moment and think about what the word allowed means. Okay, let's try one more time to compare and contrast. Compare and contrast Patricia Bath and George Washington Carver. What do they have in common? And how are their lives different?
Okay, let's continue. Inventors change the world. The stories of these four inventors show how African American inventors have helped make life better for all Americans throughout history. Benjamin Banneker helped people keep time and know the positions of the stars and planets. Sarah Good made furniture for people to use in small homes. George Washington Carver made hundreds of products from sweet potatoes and peanuts. Dr. Patricia Bath invented a cure for one kind of blindness. The world is better because of their work. Meet the author. Jim Haskins has written more than 100 books. Many of his books are about African Americans and great things they have done. Some are about the history and culture of Africa. Jim has always loved to read and learn about famous people. He says, I did not have any favorite childhood authors, but mostly enjoyed reading the Encyclopedia Britannica and World Book Volumes A through Z.